Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to my podcast. It's Sean Farrell Podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. Before I start, let me just say this. Let me get this out of the way, okay? Um, To the 49er fans who were having a party yesterday, we're just going to see how much partying you're, you're doing with the seat. Eastern Stars, okay? Okay. I'm just, just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway. Let's get it into who it, man. Um, so. Segwaying into. Um, I am a big Dallas Cowboy fan. Die hard. Um. <clears throat> and um they have a series they have a um i guess it's sort of like a tv show youtube show and it's called deep blue where they do profiles on players of the past present um I've seen features on Leon Lett, Darren Woodson, Barry Switzer, um, the Doomsday Defense. Um, and they just kicked off their eighth season a few weeks ago. And the first episode of season eight was called Mind Games. It was called Mind Games. And the situation about my games address the topic of mental health. Um, and that's what I want to talk about today. Um, I actually watched it twice. Um, and they feature players from the past. Um, players from the players who currently play on the Dallas Cowboys, um, Charles A. Haley, former Cowboy, of course, Dak Prescott, Jesse Holly, former Cowboy, Isaiah Stanback, um, <clears throat> Jordan Lewis, he currently plays for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and um, other people like... Um, Bengals, like Cincinnati Bengals tight end Hayden Hurst. He's in, in, in there. He's in there. And so, um, the only way to crush the stigma is by speaking up and speaking out. Um, I actually forgot that Charles Haley um, actually had mental health issues. Um, but, um, he said the first time he tried to end his life by suicide was when he was 12 years old. And he said he actually put a gun to his head. The bullet missed his head. Okay. The bullet missed his head. And it went into for the wall. Um, Dak Prescott's brother ended his life by suicide. Um, and um, I'm going to get to a point on uh, Jesse Holly um, in, in a minute. Um, 
Charles Haley also talked about how he was diagnosed as being manic depressive early in his career. No, he was diagnosed. And um he didn't listen. And um and um I just lost my train of thought now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um it just us came back back to me. Um he was diagnosed early in his career as manic depressive and he was talking about how how he asked God for help because he said he just lived in that dark space way too long he just lived in that dark space way too long um Charles Haley to this day, you know, he admits that he still is somewhat reluctant to um, let anybody know how he's feeling. But um, Charles takes his meds every day. Um, he actually said that at, at his Hall, Hall of Fame speech. Um, How he takes his meds every day, um, as I do, as I do, um, and Charles Haley talked about living in darkness too long. It's okay to ask for help. Um, it's okay to ask for help. Um, I know for me, I was once in that dark place. Um, pain was excruciating to say, hey, the least. Um, but I just didn't know. And um, it's like looking back on, on it now. It's, it's like the more... The more you look back, the more and more you pull out and you say, oh, that was what was wrong with me. Oh, I was. This is what I, I was. Oh, this is what I was feeling. I was feeling this, this and this. Um. So. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, it's like, because you really don't quite understand what you're feeling when you're your hunger, but you know, once you look back, you know, you start to see things more clear, early now. Um, <clears throat> it's okay not to be okay. You can ask for help. Um. I know for me from age 18 probably started even probably started even earlier than that but um not asking for help can really set you can really set you back and I still deal with depression to this vi every day um because there was a period for a few years where i did not ask for help um i actually thought i could be there by myself okay and the harder i tried to beat it the worse it got okay and um that's when i asked for help um,
find something to let it for. No. No. If you're going through a rough time, if you're going through depression, no. Ask for help. No. Find something to live for. Find something to live here for. Okay. Um. I, I've been very, very open about the fact that I deal with depression, anxiety, thoughts of suicide. Um. That Prescott was talking about. Um, that Prescott was talking about mental mental health and social media and whatnot. And he had a very good uh, saying. And he said, "No, don't compare yourself to anyone on social media. Compare yourself to yourself." Okay. And um, I mentioned Jesse Holly earlier. Um. Jesse Holly was talking about a time in high school where I believe he said he got hurt or he got injured. One of the, the uh, or two. And his coach came up to him and said, are you a man? Are, are you a man or are you a machine? And he said his high school coach just kept on asking him that, asking him that. Are you a man or are you a machine? Okay. And Jesse Holly said he thought about it and he said, I'm a machine. And um, he said he had a, um, came to realization a few years ago. I'm, he's not a machine. He's human. You know, you know, um, I was about to mention something else, something else. Uh, Dak Prescott, um, also talked about, um, identifying your triggers, learning your triggers, and, um, Getting helpful for those uh, trick diggers. Um, I'm still learning my uh, triggers. No, I'm learning my uh, triggers. I know what some of my triggers are. Um, sometimes there is no trigger in my uh, case. Okay, sometimes it just comes on without warning, as it often does. No. Depression is invisible, so um, sometimes it comes on without a warning. So, and um, and so, um, like my man Michael Irvin said, um, look up, get up, and don't ever get hev up. Um, I just want to say, um, to the people who watch these videos, um, I just want to say th thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, the feedback has been pretty, pretty uh, good. Um, I've heard positive feedback from my co-workers. Heard positive feedback from family members. Um, heard positive feedback from friends. Um, I just want to say hey, thank you. May God bless you all. And um, like my man Brandon said, like my man Brandon said, Adam says, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel. And I think I did it wrong. Yeah. That was probably the worst Brandon Tatum impression. I I did. Sorry about that, Brandon. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, that's just what I wanted to talk, talk about. Um. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you all. And I will see you all next week.
out of here, y'all. Ask for help.